I'm gonna take this Kimber Carbon Compact R7 for a test drive with some Super Bell 147 grain ammo. Uh, this gun kind of fits in the category of being an EDC type gun or home defense gun, you know, just a personal defense gun. It's a little bit smaller, lighter, easier to carry. Got a lot of features. Uh, this one comes with a magwell, comes with interchangeable back straps if you want to do that thing. Everything on it is ambi, ambi mag release, ambi uh, slide release. Um, without having to swap anything around. I think it's kind of unique. Um, this one comes with the Holosun 407K, which you can take off um, and run just night sights on it or the iron sights on it. I'm going to do that a little bit later since I put the, the other plate on there, but with the dot on there, not bad. Uh, so let's run this thing through some shooting to be kind of, uh, you know, in the wheelhouse for what this gun's kind of built for. Um, I'm going to shoot uh, the targets that are out here in front of me, one round per. Now, you know, it's just me. I can't like do it like super slow. So I'm gonna like flow some transition speed there, uh, ish, not too crazy, but we'll see how the gun shoots, how it handles recoil. Um, go ahead and tell you the trigger is pretty nice. Breaks at about four pounds, five ounces, pretty consistently, really short, really clean, which is pretty impressive for an out of the box factory gun. Let's go ahead and do this thing. All right, let's do, let's run out, go to run out of ammo. All right, now we're out of ammo. So the gun handles recoil pretty well, trigger's nice and crisp, dot tracks back kind of nice, you know, uh, so not terrible to shoot. You know, a lot of smaller, lighter guns kind of suck to train with. You know, I'm finding this to be, you know, pretty pleasurable for, you know, a gun its size. Hey, that's what I think about it. Y'all go check it out, see what you think. <laughs> 